my channel. It's me, Jamie. And if you're new here in my channel, thank you so much for being here. In today's video, it's going to be fun and exciting because we are going to do an in-depth review of the Ritaum Sugar Ball Cushion Blusher. In this video, we will be testing the longevity of these cream blushes within the 8 hours of wearing it. And if you're interested to see these blushers in Pinai Cheeks and the swatches, just keep on watching. Okay, so these macaron blushes right here is their renewed version. Arita Om has two types of blushes. They have the creamy type and the velvet one. Now the cushion that we are going to try today is the creamy type. The creamy type usually melts smoothly and looks natural looking in the skin and hydrating. While the velvet one is just your typical powder blush. So I'm really excited to find out if it's really a beautiful, natural, sheer flush like it claims to be which Korean products nowadays usually go for. Also, I am more into creamy and tint blushers these days because they tend to last longer. It has more natural looking glowy effect. It enhances and revives dull complexion. It also is stunning in adding definition in your cheekbones. You don't need to add products like highlighters. And there's just something that the powder blush just can't deliver. You know what I mean? Oh, hell no! <laughs> I bought these blushes on sale and it's 60% off. Currently, it's still on sale. And that's 361 in pesos. Each compact contains 6 grams of product. If you're interested to see the list of ingredients, here it is. I felt like this product is so underrated. I said underrated because even though I saw that it has a pretty decent review in YesStyle, which is 99.4 customer satisfaction with 915 reviews, I don't find a lot of product reviews in YouTube about this, unfortunately, and it wasn't so much raved about. For those of you who doesn't know about YesStyle, it is a website where you can buy Asian products worldwide, especially products that are made in Korea and Japan. We made a separate video about it and I will be linking it in the description down below just in case you want to watch it. I tested these products right after it arrived. It arrived more than a month ago and I use this mostly every day since I received it. So I have an ample amount of time to give a proper review of this product and give this product a justice because... It's just me. That's who I am. But prior to using these, I did a patch test. And I recommend you guys to do the same thing. Not just in this product, but also do that to any product that you will be using, especially if you have a sensitive skin. My current skin type is a combination skin with slightly textured. I have a medium warm undertone. I am oily in my T-zones. I am dry in my cheeks and surrounding my eye areas. This cheeks don't get deceived. This is the blush. So upon testing it, I realized that it is not visible and it doesn't last long. If I use these blushes, no walang base. But I will show you how it looks like in my arms in bare skin so you know what I'm talking about. Let's start off with shade number one, rosy pink. As you can see, it looks like a bomb. Swiping it in three circular motion. Then this is the first swatch. Doing it again. And this is the second swatch. Then tap it until it blends to your skin. to the second shade, Pink So Much. Swiping again three times. This is the first swatch. And this is the second swatch. Tap, tap, tap until it blends. 
very dull. It's a very strong color. shade Daisy Coral. Swiping it again. First swatch. Doing it again. In the second swatch. Then tap. Next is the fourth shade Juicy Pink. First swatch and the second swatch. Tap, tap, tap. Then, last but not the least, is the creamy rose. Swiping it again. First swatch. Second swatch, then tap. All the shades just melt in your skin in hindi siya malakit. But ang visible colors lang is number 2, number 4, and a little peak of number 5. Also, if you notice, pink so much is a red color and the number 4 juicy pink is in the orange side. Bar! In this channel, we try to work what doesn't work. This is what we are going to do. We will be using BB cream on the left side of my face. And we will be using foundation on the right side of my face. Doing this, we can able to tell and show for the benefit of the people who are using foundation and BB creams. So we will find out which base works best in this product. So before we start, I am going to prep my skin with my usual everyday skincare products and my favorite sunscreen. And I'll be back. So now I'm back. Don't freak out, this is still me. I am not going to use a primer. Well, in most cases, I don't really use a primer. That's because of my own preference. Pero sa case na to, we will not going to use a primer. So we would find out what's the real deal, the longevity of this product. Mind you, yung pinakita kong video about swatches is applying cream blushes na walang base. Meaning without anything on top of your skin. Walang BB cream, walang foundation whatsoever. As you have seen, only two blushes lang are very visible. The rest are not so opaque. But this time, as I have said kanina, we will be using the face up on the left side. We all know that... BB creams are usually dewy upon application and more natural looking. And we will be using Infallible on the right side. While the foundation amen is more on mattifying, satin finish, or dewy. Well, depending on skin type naman, and also what is the product is claiming. But this specific foundation is claiming to have a satin finish. Okay, now we're done. Uh, it's a little bit light, but let's wait for a bit para mag tone down siya. Kasi I am acidic. And later on, it's gonna darken a little bit. Okay, I will put the rest of my makeup and I will be back again. So now, we're back in the game. Magmukha na naman tao ang lola nyo. So my makeup is done. I didn't put any setting powder on top of our makeup just yet. We can do that afterwards. Before we start, let me pull you a little bit closer. Okay, now we're close. Kita kita nyo na yung mga sumpa. But before that, so closely, this is what the packaging looks like.
If you open it, there's a puff, a puff, a puff. <laughs> the puff has a separate case. It's sanitary and also the product doesn't have to stay puff the whole time. So it looks like a balm. It actually smells good. It's like a flowery smell, but it's not really overpowering. It has five shade ranges. So ideally, we have to use the puff. But for me, since I have a very small face, yung puff mas malaki pa sa nose ko, covering all my cheeks. So the cushion foundation size is like this. If you will compare it to the Sugar Ball Cushion Blush, size is like this. It's quite big for the cheeks for some people. So if you do have a small cheeks like me, this probably wouldn't work for you as well. Also, I don't recommend you using blush brush because it will turn striky if you do it in a dragging motion or it will leave a dot in your cheeks if you do a pat 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 motion. And we don't want that. So what I would normally do is start building pigment on my nose, pat pat pat, going down to cheeks. It is important not to drag the product back and forth. Just pat it in because you don't want to disrupt the foundation or the BB cream. It's not a good natural look. Also, the last thing we want it to look like is a clown, right? Okay, let the swatches begin. This is a shade rosy pink. It looks like the same with the component. The component color is color rose. The actual blush color is like a watermelon color. And the actual cheeks looks like color watermelon. This is perfect for the people who have pale color. For me, it doesn't show up that much. Moving on to pink so much. So this kind of strong color, I would swipe once and build it. Starting from my nose. Use my other finger to lessen the pigmentation. I would swipe some more if I needed more pigmentation because it's always easier to building it up than removing the products. The Pink So Much component, in my opinion, is color cherry. And the actual blush, it's pretty much the same color. But in my cheeks, it sort of looks like a lighter rose color. So the last three colors, my babs, let's do it fast forward because otherwise we're gonna stay here for 10 years. So, yeah. Next is the third shade, Daisy Coral. So the coral component is color coral as well. And the actual blush is coral as well. The so cheeks naman, it's kind of like lighter coral, very wearable color, especially so spring, summer. Next is shade number four, Juicy Pink. So shade number four component, to me it's like a darker orange or base of color table is strawberry color as well as the component. And last but not the least is the creamy rose. Creamy 
rose component is a salmony color. The actual blush to me is like a rose color. So next, we're gonna set my face with a setting powder. I don't usually use setting powder, but for this video, considering that it's really warm in the Philippines, we are going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. So it's not gonna change the color of our cheeks in our foundation. So what we're gonna do is just gonna buff it out. So looking at the blush on right now, I don't think it removes the blush on totally, but it's a little bit mattifying finish. Now let's see if we can build it up again after the setting powder. Para malaman natin if we can redo a retouch in between. I can easily build it up again without any weird texture so that's good now it's time to do some wear testing so time check it's four o'clock in the afternoon so i will gonna get go back for a couple of check-ins and i'll see you later that's just a quick update ganito pala ang itsura niya sa labas with the natural lighting omg putok na putok ang fest ng ating mayora <laughs> <laughs> Kerry booms. Okay, right now we are walking, going to the store where I usually pick up the package. So I'm gonna walk for 30 minutes. Mapapa sabak ang ating kapisingian. So good yan, maganda yan. Pero medyo makulimlim. Ayan o, oh. makulimlim ang kapaligiran. So. Hopefully, hindi umulan, kundi nako, kawawa ang ating cheeks. Okay, pak, umaraw. Oh, ayan si Haring Araw. Umaraw siya. So, umulan at umaraw. Andyan pa rin ang ating cheeks. Um, 30 minutes pa lang, ha? Alam nyo, nakakaloka. Tingnan nyo, pag Friday talaga, walang katao-tao. Diba? Friday night. Mga Swedish. Grabe talaga sila pag Friday. Talagang present sila sa bar. Or sa ginikan. Parang religion nila. <laughs> Pero ang good news niyan, nakuha na natin ang ating package. And uuwi na tayo. Good evening. It's time to check in, guys, before I remove my makeup and getting ready for bed. So, time is 12.05 in the evening here. And this is what my blush looks like. It's crazy. It's still there. Um, it's kind of a, a little bit oily na ng konte, but yeah it stayed it stayed and it's crazy um normally that blush lasts for about two to three hours only pag walang setting powder i think the pressed powder really helped dati when i was using it i don't really use pressed powder so this is the first time i use pressed powder and yeah, I think that's why it stayed this long. So I'm really happy. And let's go back to the main video. And yeah. So now for the final verdict. For the packaging, I gave it four. Yeah, it's sturdy enough. But the thing is, it's not scratch proof. 
It is a good thing that the puff is placed separately. What I don't like about it is the component is not identical just like the blush color. Just for example, the shade number 1 and also the shade number 5. It is not a huge factor but I wanted you to know that in choosing a shade, you don't have to base the component itself. When it comes to the size, I think 6 grams is pretty decent amount of product. So since a lot of people doesn't have cushion foundation, I based on the size ng 5 peso coin. Clearly, it's a decent amount of product so I gave it a 5. When it comes to the shade ranges and the pigments, it is good that it has 5 variety of colors. That means we have options. But there are certain shades that doesn't show up in typical Pinay skin. Like for example, shade number 1 and shade number 5. You have to do a little bit of effort in building up the pigments. So I gave it a 3.5. When it comes to the feeling of the product in your skin, it's not a really lightweight just like the tint blushes. You can still feel that there's something in your skin. But as soon as it sets in to your skin, hindi na siya malikit. That's why I gave it a 4. When it comes to smell, I don't really mind it. It's a pretty nice smell. It's a flowery smell but it's not really overpowering so I gave it a 5. Now the question is, will I recommend it? If you have an oily skin to begin with, you probably wouldn't gonna like it. But if you have a dry or combination skin, you probably would like it. To me, it's a matter of preference. If you wanted to go for glowy, shiny look, go for it. So that concludes of our review of this Arita Um Sugar Ball Cream Blushers. If you have tried this product, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm interested to know. I hope that you find this video interesting and helpful. Or comment down below your product review requests. And if you wanted to see more of my videos, just click the subscribe button. My details are on the screen. Chikahan tayo doon. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on my next one. I love you mga bevs. Stay pretty, smile, and slay.